Hey everybody, how's it going? So I get a bunch of emails every day where people ask me, yo Sense, do you have recommendation for any service providers where we can host our web apps for free, where I want to deploy my API and it's just a personal project and I don't have the budget to actually pay for an actual paid solution. So what I wanted to do in this video was actually just create a quick video where I show you guys some of the different providers that are out there that I've personally used and I recommend to other people that usually ask me for the actual providers that I use when I want to host my personal or professional projects. And then I'll give you some of my opinions on these as well. So to get started, what I'm going to be doing is first showing you guys a website called koyeb.com. Um, and they have a pretty generous pricing tier. Not only can you start for free, as you can see, and they provide you a free web service, a free database, but if you want to move onwards with your actual project and deploy it in a more production ready manner, then you can also opt in for a $79 per month star package, and it's pretty good. Just as a side note, all of the things that I'm mentioning within this video, I have not been paid by anybody to endorse them and I feel that they are very good products, so that's why I am recommending them. Besides Koyeb, there's another website that's awesome, which is called zebra.com. Again, Zebra also has a very generous pricing tier and they're very developer friendly, so you can get started with them for free. And if you just want to take your projects to the next level, if you want a little bit of more resources, if you want to take that, personal project that you have and just turn it into a side project that earns a little bit of income and you want to make sure that it has good SLA and things like that, then you can do the $5 plan and that's pretty good as well and it's going to give you plenty of bandwidth, plenty of horsepower to actually host your personal projects and make them work in the best manner possible. Then besides this, there's also a website called render.com. This is also another excellent choice and the reason I like them particularly is one is that they provide a bunch of different services and you can get started for free. And the thing is the services are broken down into a bunch of different things. So if you come from a large scale cloud provider such as Google Cloud for AWS, then this is going to be a platform that's going to better suit your needs. If you're somebody that's looking for more custom tailored solutions than just a standard deploy your application on a container um, and then auto scale or things like that with a database attached. And last but not least, the final free option that I want to talk about is Cyclic. So Cyclic works a little bit differently. Instead of you actually individually paying for things that you'd use with other cloud providers such as a database and a web service and then maybe some cron workers and things like that. So what this dollar three per month will do is basically bunch together all of the different resources that you need when you're deploying an app such as a web service, a database, some place to put your static files or user uploaded files and just give all of that to you for a fixed price. So I believe this is also another excellent choice for you guys if you are looking for a affordable place where you can host your personal projects or a place where you can actually test and experiment with all of the different things that you build. Finally, one thing that I'd also like to mention is that a lot of people ask me, hey Hussein, can you just recommend me a place where I can get a PostgreSQL database or a MySQL database? Well, for that, what you can do is either use Render once again, because Render again offers you these services or features individually, so you can opt in for just getting a managed Postgres, or you can use a Neon.tech, which is a great platform that gives you serverless Postgres and you can get started with them for free, even though they are kind of a layer on top of Postgres SQL and they do a lot of abstraction to abstract all of the complexities away from you, but they do not give you in the traditional sense a managed Postgres SQL database. What they do is give you a serverless Postgres. So they are another good resource that I highly recommend. Besides this, Two other honorable mentions that I'd just like to mention because I do work with them a lot are DigitalOcean, but just the sad part of this is that they do not include any kind of free services, at least from the services or products that I use from them. But nonetheless, they are an excellent platform and I highly recommend people use it if they want to deploy any kind of applications. And besides that, I also am an avid user of Google Cloud. Most of the companies that I work with on enterprise scale usually uses them. So I have a lot of experience with them and I highly recommend them as well. So with that, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, links to all of the resources that I mentioned in this video is going to be down in the description. And if you have any questions, comments or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them for you. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, keep learning, keep going, and I'll see you guys in the next video.